here's my latest purchase on the right hand side you see the smk glide and it is a modular helmet and on the left hand side you see my older smk glide modular helmet so the right hand side one costed me around 6000 rupees and uh, the reason why i didn't want didn't want to change the brand was i was so comfortable with it i was so used to it you see helmets are similar to your jeans once you get comfortable with a pair of jeans you don't feel like you know changing it unless and until it tears up and uh, you have you are forced to change it so it's a similar case with me for the helmet too in fact uh, both these sizes that you see are the small sizes let me show you the size here it is mentioned I don't think you can see it but then yeah this is where it shows uh, the size okay it's mentioned as s here s and this too is the same one mentioned as s out there right so over the period of time I've been using my old SMK helmet for close to four years for now. I think I bought it in the year of 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21. So almost uh, four years. And then what's happened over the period of time is, as a matter of fact, if, uh, you know, to be honest, most of these motorcyclists, the hardcore purists, you, you may say, they change it within two years, but then I pushed it. And finally realized that what's happened is all the paddings inside the sponge okay they were all compressed and because of which it has become from a small size to probably a large size and uh, my head fits in very easily and above the speeds of 100 kilometers per hour it starts buffeting and vibrating as if i was a street hawk rider okay so that is a little bit scary <laughs> and uh, it, uh, you know it tells you that it's time for you to change your helmet very simple mechanisms these had uh, you can see the wear and tear on this particular helmet not much i would say but then uh, yeah that also goes on to sh show how well i maintained it few nicks here and there few tiny scratches but that's about it not much and you can see there's a bug splash here the mosquito that collided with my windscreen otherwise it would have collided with my forehead uh, these things are very common and if i may tell you one thing helmets more than safety for me yes definitely there are safety devices they are more of a weather protection for me okay um, safety of course it is it is a given but it you know it protects you from all that shit on the road uh, when it's raining you don't only get rain on your helmet you get the water from the road splashed on you thanks to some fast moving uh, truck or lorry or any other vehicle for that matter or auto rickshaw for that matter they splash the dirt dirty water on your face would you rather be fully covered with a full face helmet like this or would you be wearing a Rohan or a Roshan helmet that probably is just uh, as good as a tumbler in your bathroom <laughs> that you pop on your head? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> right? So, and of course, when it's very chilly and very uh, windy, it protects your face from inhaling all those, uh, all that air, all right? So that is my basic uh, analysis of why one should wear a helmet. Of course, safety is always a given. Okay, but always the best safety is to drive safe. Apart from that, uh, yes, it's good to have a helmet on your head, but to protect your skin. For example, if I may tell you, I was the only one who was wearing helmet during my Ladakh rides. Way back in 2007 is when I had been to Ladakh and uh, 
compared to all the others who were wearing half face helmets i was only one wearing full face helmet and plus most of the breaks that we took i hardly removed my helmet because i was so tired because of the high altitude and the ams and all that and hardly took it out and then later on after the trip was done with maybe in a matter of two weeks that was in the end we looked at each other's faces and then i found my face was still nice and moist compared to the others who had uh, broken skin because of the cold they were exposed to see so that's proof of how a helmet helps you all right so a few changes i have noticed very few uh, or rather maybe just a single one i would say i had one big complaint with this helmet is when after crossing about 80 to 90 kilometers per hour speed there used to be a lot of wind noise coming from the left hand side of the helmet okay so the reason why i thought it was or probably yes it was true is because of this particular switch that opens and closes the inner visor you see yeah you see that going in and out right so this switch is protruding outside if you may see it from this angle okay so when it protrudes outside the wind hits it and creates a vortex okay that is my explanation and that i that i feel was the real cause i'm going to find out from this soon so this i always wanted to file it off and get rid of it and make it a bit more uh, aerodynamic for that matter but then uh, i didn't have the tools and didn't have the patience to do that now with the new one what i see is they have lessened that protrusion okay it's no longer protruding from the outside but it is there on the bottom the switch is on the bottom and plus it is a little yeah it's a pretty easy the same mechanism as such and it works too and believe me it really does work very subtle inner uh visor for it's a sun sun visor and it really works well one of the reasons why i went in for a modular helmet is because of this function okay it easily opens up and makes it a half face helmet whenever you want it and i feel very comfortable with this because in traffic signals especially when it's peeping hot and sweaty and sultry you just flip it up and you can breathe some fresh air else it becomes really very difficult if you're on full face helmet you would probably have to just manage with your windscreen being popped up so it's a matter of being used to what you are used to that's it simple as that okay so uh, in terms of safety they say modular is, is not that safe because of the mechanism and uh, that is a weak point compared to a full shell helmet but then and, and again guys just drive safe okay uh, yeah end of the day it is a full face helmet okay it sure is a full face helmet and please don't bang into a tree with such a force that you prove <laughs> model helmet is weaker than a full face you know full shell helmet or what whatsoever uh, these are all urban tales okay cock and bull story as they call it end of the day these helmets are made for a standard specification it is european ece r2205 certified helmet okay and just trust that and drive safe okay this i washed it maybe about two times in the span of uh, four years yes <laughs> that's how dirty i used to ride but then uh you know maybe because of the water that i have used and the detergents and all that stuff slowly the sponge did give in you can see how soft they are and literally expanded up it's time to change it these are all the literature that i got with this helmet the new one they give you a keychain and uh, something that says dissipate sweat by capillary action and keeps the fabric cool and dry resil yeah some high tech stuff smk helmet stuff and this is kind of a certificate and this is the user manual and the keychain that you've already seen 
so let me show you how well the foam is inside this pretty thick compared to this see you can see the difference right hope you can see the difference it's pretty thick and nice maybe it'll last another uh, three four years easily okay uh, for after regular use that is it should last three four years even the inner sponge everything is pretty good one of the reasons why i also found out that it was time for me to change the helmet was yes not only the fact that the sponge has lost its mass uh, even the thermocol that they, they use, yeah, I guess it's a specialized thermocol, even that would have actually flattened up over the years of usage. All right. And how do you find that out? When you put your inner visor on, this part right, starts hitting your nose. Okay. And that shows that the helmet is no longer going to fit you well it's time to change it so whereas here in the new one you see the sponge has a lot of mass and even the thermocol inside should be fresh because of which this would not hit me like it was when i purchased this the older one okay and uh, uh, this is the senna 3s i had got from the us it is a uh, concealed one very handy one so it does not create any other dynamic drag or even uh, doesn't act as a pivot uh, in terms of uh, um, you know increasing the injury to your neck or head in case of an unforeseen incident so this is a good one i'll do a separate video on this later on how i installed it okay uh, so that was the reason why i had to change it too all right and always remember when you buy a helmet when you put it on and you just need to wiggle your head okay shake your head from left to right quickly up and down quickly and see to it that your helmet isn't loose okay your helmet should move with your face it shouldn't be independent of your the moment of your face all right so that is what indicates a good fitting helmet all right you should not have a lot of gap inside and plus your cheeks must be pressed okay against this the sponge that also indicates a good fitting helmet now, depending on what your head size is small medium large extra large and extra extra large for those most intelligent people <laughs> so jokes apart that's how it fits okay that's the Fitting, uh, fitting indicator for any new helmet that you might want to buy yeah i would also like to conclude that basically uh, i was comfortable with this helmet i did not want to go for another brand and try to adjust my head to it uh, same size same brand same model and that fits you well because helmet is just like your cloth or your or whatever you're wearing it's like your jeans okay and uh, it's important that you be comfortable with it and of course the budget was also in the mind you don't want to spend too much when you can't afford it right <laughs> and so that's the reason why i bought this all right guys take care see you in the next video ciao